Hi folks, welcome back to Call of the Wild, the Angler, and to the Spanish Resort. Right, we're going to have a go at doing the rod, reel and lure missions. So we're going to be starting off with Taste of Tomato, which is the lure, I believe. Right, I need to find the location on the map, which is just there, so we've got to go there. We'll put a track on it and we'll grab a jeep and make our way over that, to that area. Now as I'm doing this on PS4, a lot of the trailheads haven't been unlocked so some of the messages may pop up. Here we are at the trailhead. I don't think we can go any further. Oh, we've got a bridge, so we've got to walk. It's time to walk the rest of the way. Be going past a hydropower facility towards a dam. Like the atmospheric sounds of the birds and other animals. Well, we should be getting close. Now, here's where the hydro power station is. Right, we found another travel location. So now we're at the location to start the mission. Eh? Eh? What do you think? I think they'd like to go fishing. Stop peer pressuring them. Now for the big reveal. While you're up there, think you could take a photo for me? Ha! Knew there was an angle. It's only fair. I mean... I'm going the extra mile to save their soul. Yeah, yeah. You just needed some poor victim. Pretty please. Well, them two dudes. They really give it some. They get very vocal. Right now I need to go and take a picture of the dam. Now, down here there should be a point with some these things dancing around. Ah, here's the location with the weird things dancing around. So you need to turn towards the dam, find the icon, and take the picture. That will make for a great painting reference. Oh, you and your art. Why didn't you do it yourself? Well, Gives me the opportunity to give them a little something something. <laughs> Hope it's their time back. Right, let's go and see if we can find the lure. Apparently it's this direction. Oh, looks like we've got another boat jetty down there. Maybe it's around that area. Take the shortcut down. 
Right, search the area for a cache. Well, it's not that one. Right, we'll head over towards this building. Ah, there it is. And we've got All the right, lure. tell me, what's in there? It's tomatito. Ah, the bucktail lure. Great choice. Hey, what's a two without some fishing to finish? Music to my ears. You're good at this. Learn from the best. In the meantime, you owe Tomatito a little dams. Hasta luego! Right, let's get this spinner bait onto a rod and try and catch a fish. Right, we'll head over to the jetty, I think. Let's even get off this jetty. Ah, it's a collectible. Chameleons are small, slow-moving lizards with prehensile tails, long extensible tongues, and a highly developed ability to change color. The average length of the common chameleon is 8 to 16 inches. It is a long-standing urban myth that chameleons change color in order to camouflage themselves, when in reality it is as a response to light and temperature stimuli and an expression of emotion. Often when caught for analysis, yeah, the chameleon something. turns a dark color. The colors are also important for interspecies communication, especially during mating season. The common chameleon is insectivorous, capturing insects by stealth tactics and rapid extension of their long tongues, which grasp and adhere to their prey. Adults are known to eat young chameleons, and have been observed to eat fruit. Larger females produce more eggs and are more attracted to males who will fight over a female. All right. All right, we managed to get a largemouth bass. So that's satisfied that mission. So we complete should be completed the Maravilloso. section. Right now you got to return back to the store to get the next part. Right here we are back in the main square. Joe, colega, come chat. So you've had Torve so Daniel. We got the now how about some fishing? Try not to turn your ankle with that step down. It's such a climb. Well, Even we'll you'd enjoy a, it, Chori. Uh, track on it so we can follow where we're going. So we've got to go oh, to an isolated lake. Well, we'll put travel there. We'll fast travel to this trailhead. It's closer. Right, here we are. I right, need to grab a Jeep, I think. But first, oh, we've got painting. We'll pick that up while we're here. Southern Spain is famous for its graves, and with that comes legendary raisins an incredible wine. Vino Dulce from the region is particularly famous, typically produced from Pedro Jimenez and Moscatel grape varieties. Officially, there are two Andalusian wine types, Vinos de Licor, wines fortified with 15% to 22% alcohol, or Vinos Tranquilos, unfortified wines such as naturally sweet wines produced from overripe grapes and sweet wines made from sun-dried grapes. Head this direction. We put a track away, put some nowhere to turn. I'm not showing you my favorite, because it's mine. But this one's my side piece. Should be far keep going, down. keep going. If it wasn't hard to find, it wouldn't be worth finding. Are we there yet? Do you know where we are? Mm. Uh, we'll 
take it across the river. Yet? Look out the window or something. Not far from the lake. That's some dodgy driving. Not there yet. If it wasn't hard to find, it wouldn't be worth finding. Isn't she beautiful? Are we there yet? Can't you tell? Fairly sure I left the reel around there somewhere. It's yours if you find it. So we're going to go and find the reel. We'll head down towards this. Looks like a jetty at the end. Again, we've got to search for the cash, which should be on the end of the jetty, I think. Which will contain the reel. Yeah, looks like it could be. Yep, there it is. We'll get the so, there. now you're all set. I expect only the best from my second best spot. I'd like you to reel in something special and send me proof. You never show me proof. Do you know I keep it low-key? I don't want anyone stealing my secret techniques. <laughs> it's petty theft. Them two are definitely comedians. Right, let's see what we can catch. Hopefully something. So we'll use the red worm. That usually catches anything. It looks like we might be in for a bit of a wait. There's definitely nothing in that area. We'll try a bit round this way. No, we'll go straight ahead. Hopefully we'll get something in this region. Looks like there's nothing there either. We'll just give it a bit longer and see if we actually get a bite. No, we'll try a different area. Let's see. We'll have a look through. Try a different bait. I don't know whether we'll get anything in Minnow, but we'll give it a try. Hopefully something will come along. Ah, that looks like might have something at the float, the boat. And we're on. Ooh, got to get tension up a bit. We don't want to lose this fish. It's taken quite a while to find one. The 
There's something quite light, I think. It's not giving much tension. And we've got the drag set to 100%. Trip. Oh, pumpkin seed. Oh, nice gas silver. So that's that well, section that right completed. There is a beautiful catch. Right, we're going to have to fast travel back to the store again to get the final part of the... Yo, colega, talk to me when so you get a second. Get the rod. Uh, this is going to sound Lucia's weird. Day. I need you to look inside a cave. I'll tell you later. The entrance is across from the Corona de Rey Hugo. That's the visitor center, by the way. Gracias, colega. Well, we'll just check to make sure what lines we've got before going off to the caves. So we'll put another track on the, the mission and head over to the caves. Right, we're going to have to take this trailhead here, it's the closest. And then we'll go jeep and drive around. Amoyete is a flatbread from Andalusia. It is a soft, round, white bread roll, usually served lightly toasted with olive oil and raw garlic or spread with lard in an Andalusian breakfast. I do this myself, but I can't leave the restaurant. Daniel would kill me. Sure would. Right, let's head to the caves. Let's see what we can find in here. First things first. Time to fish. Right, we've got to catch a fish. There's a pool just here. We'll see what we can get out of this pool. Yeah, we'll use the blood worm. That usually catches a lot of things. Trouble is, it's so dark you can't see what's coming for the bait. Oh, that's something. Car. Ah, looks like we got the wrong pool. Yeah, we did. There was one down there. Oh, what else is down here? Ooh, looks like some form of shrine.
Yes. Kestrels are well. small falcons that hover by rapidly beating their wings while searching for prey on the ground. Kestrels are principally distinguished by their typical hunting behavior, which is to hover at a height of around 35 to 65 feet and swoop down on ground prey. Kestrels are notable for usually having mostly brown in their plumage. All oh, right. Some interesting facts about kestrels. Right, let's see what we can catch in this lake or pool. I haven't got a clue if there's anything coming along. I think we can just about see something. Or well, something attacking the bait. And we're on. a lively one. Oh, what we got? A silver rod. Okay, I spilled wine. Danielle's going to get another bottle from the back. Oh, we've got to go deeper into the caves. to find our way out. Right, I'll start to go down this way. Something important I need you to find. Code word is Mojete. Oh, I've got a lot of swamps there. Go find the rod, find an item. Oh, go deeper down. Right. Something up this. Area. Yeah, we need to take that. Not a mojete. Keep there's also something else. Hamon Iberico, Iberian ham, is a variety of hamon, a type of cured leg of pork produced in Spain. Normally, hamon is sold sliced and vacuum packed, or as a whole leg. According to Spain's current regulations on hamon, the dry cured hamon Iberico must be made from either purebred black Iberian pigs or crossbred pigs of at least 50% black Iberian stock, mixed only with Duroc pigs. The same restriction as required to keep official Iberico denomination on any Spanish pork meat product. All right, so there's some information we've got in that dish we just found. Right, we need to go deeper and see what else we can find. platform there should be something to pick up. There it is, up this corner. Not a mojete. Keep looking. Well, I need to go further down.
Oh, there's somebody down here fishing. Right, so we've got to find the rod and another item. Now, let's find the item. No, not down there. Right, looks like the rod could be over this way. There's the rod. Nice. You can keep that one. Now I just gotta find the items. Oh, they're over there. I think we've just been over them. Yeah, we've just been near them. Oh, colega, you're a lifesaver. Oh, so you found your ring. Uh, you knew? Why else aren't you wearing yours? Cruising for hot guys in your family's restaurant? Cari, there isn't another reason on God's green earth you wouldn't wear yours. Did you at least catch El Matador? You'd know if I did. I was down there to catch something huge. See if you can do what I couldn't. So we've got to go and catch a gold rank fish or higher. Anywhere with the rod we just require acquired. Alright, let's go up and find a spot to catch a gold rank fish. Well, I'll just check and see if there's anything here to pick up. Doesn't look like there is. We'll have a grab a jeep and head out to a lake where I know we can get a gold rank fish quite easily. So we're going for a gold tench. The rod setup's going to be with size 6 and pearl barley that will get the tench. It's just a bit of a drive to the lake. Right, we need to turn just here. a bit uphill and down dale. Go to another trailhead. And now we need to walk down to the jetty from the trailhead. We can go anywhere on the reserve to catch a gold. But I know you can also do a challenge here to catch a gold. Tenches. So we might as well do that at the same time. So just need to go off this jetty. Right, get the tackles sorted. Yep, we're all set. We've got the correct rod and the reel. Now it's just a case of catching the gold tench. Hopefully it won't take long for one to come along. Well, 
Well, it that might have something heading. It's hard to turn the water. Nope. We may need to change to a size 7. Actually, I think it might be a good idea. So I just didn't need, really need to cast it back out. But I think the size 7 is on another rod. I'm going to take it off that rod. Now uh, add it to this one. We should be able to get with this size 7 with the pearl barley as well. We might have better luck. Anything coming along? No, but we don't have too much of a weight. Right, nothing in that area. We'll try down this side of the jetty. See if we can get over here. No, so there's nothing. Ah, something's coming. Hopefully, it's going to be a gold. Now, see if it's straight to gold. No, we've got a hit of bronze. That's a shame. Could have done with it being a gold. Hopefully the next one's going to be a gold. Right, we'll change the hook back. Because we're getting bronze on the seven. So we go to the six, we should get a better chance of a gold. Oh, we've got something heading towards the bait. Hopefully that's a gold. And we got it. And so, so we have got our gold. So we managed to complete this mission. Just one thing to note with the caves, you need to check everywhere to make sure you collect all the collectibles. Otherwise it won't let you come and catch the gold.
So that's it, we got all the reputation and all the elements, the rod, the reel and the lure. So that's the free tackle missions completed. Yep, all three are ticked off. So it's a good time to leave it there, folks. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish, click the bell for that notification stuff. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy fishing.